Or is Abyss acting on himself here? Is he strictly after this championship? Is he just the victim of that same manipulation that Dennis Gregory duped his longtime friend promoter Norm Connors into? We really don't know the answers to it, but uh, Abyss is a vastly different individual than he was last time. Uh, we saw him at a regular spot in the IWC ever since uh, in TNA he kicked uh, Father James Mitchell to the curb and started... Uh, uh, hanging around the likes of Sting, he's almost become more humanistic, almost become more compassionate. He's still the same aggressive, dangerous monster than ever before, but it seems like we're starting to see glimpses of the man behind the monster. I, you know, I, I don't know that that's necessarily a good thing, though. Humanism and a monster do not go together. And the fans are getting on the case of Stephen Coulter. And you can't tell me that Stephen Coulter's going to call this match down the middle. You saw him nodding at Gregory before the match. Gregory, I don't know how the hell he pulled these strings, but Gregory is the sole reason Stephen Coulter was reinstated in this company. Well, he might be grateful. There may be a, there may be a certain indebtedness to him. Putting but it mildly. his job precludes him from having an opinion like that. He So he has to call it right down the middle. That's how he calls it. Oh, well, that's how he should call it. That's not how he calls it. Sure, that's how he calls it. This is Stephen Coulter we're talking about here. Keep in mind. Yeah, at one point, senior referee Stephen Coulter. Yeah, he, he manipulated uh, the commission into getting that job. He sucked up to them. You want to talk about suck-ups? He didn't suck up to me. He sucks up to people of power that can help him get ahead in the world. Just because you don't have any power doesn't mean you need to be angry about it, Joe. As the champ is trying to concentrate. Refrain from flash photography. Put the Polaroid down, Joe. Well, Dennis Gregory basically called out Abyss before this match. And now that they're both in the ring, Dennis Gregory is, uh, is on the outside. He wants no part of this matchup now that it's officially started. Well, as I stated, Abyss is normally, traditionally when you're facing Abyss, you're also, you're, you're facing the muscle of Abyss plus the mind of whoever is controlling him. Right now, he doesn't, Dennis Gregory doesn't know who's controlling Abyss. If it's Abyss controlling Abyss, he's never had to, uh, had to face that before. He needs a sort of a feeling out period. He needs to understand just where Abyss is approaching this from. How successful do you think Stephen Coulter is going to be in controlling Abyss in this match? Uh, have you ever tried to control a hurricane? Exactly. Yeah. Coulter and Abyss were at one point on the same side of the fence. They were both in the Unholy Alliance together. But I never exactly saw Abyss... Uh, hugging or shaking hands or glad handing with uh, really any of those members. Abyss was always just focused on destruction. <laughs> Attempted the whip, ill-advised by the four-time and current IWC champion. Couple of ducks by Gregory cross body, no chance. And Gregory just bounced off of Abyss like he was a brick wall. <laughs> and Gregory again hightailing it to the outside. And Gregory, it's important to note, is out here alone. Albright and Dark are certainly in no shape to be out here, but we gotta ask again, where is Hentai? Uh, you know, I, I've, I've tried to broach the subject of just how everything is, and Hentai prefers not to talk about it right now. He said there are still things being discussed, decided, etc. And he refuses to state what his stance is outside of, he, he mentions that he is a member of the Unholy Alliance. It's very interesting. I mean, we saw Hentai celebrating when Dennis Gregory brought uh, Dark and Coulter back, but by the end of that, that interview segment a couple weeks ago at Summer Sizzler, it seemed Hentai's body language had changed a little bit. I'm not, I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but it seemed like something might have happened in that ring to kind of change Hentai's mind on this. While I did see that, I, you know, just because I perceived it doesn't necessarily mean that's how it was. I can't say 100% he had changed. It may have just been, you know, maybe he had some bad souvlaki with dinner. Maybe he just, maybe he was worried about what was happening with Harry Potter. I don't know. I tell that. Greco Roman knuckle lock and Gregory goes downstairs, takes a shortcut. Just wouldn't listen. 
Right in the mommy daddy button? I believe that would be the mommy daddy button. Okay, just checking. Well, hey, it's your turn. And Gregory making a huge mistake by trying to understand what these fans are saying. Most of them don't have enough teeth to actually formulate words, and most haven't graduated past the fifth grade. So really, it's just a lot of slurs, vowels, and the occasional click or grunt. What's wrong? So, with five minutes what's wrong with me? What's, what's wrong with that guy? For the love of Pete, it didn't rain, so he's not showering? I mean... Gregory attempts the leg drop. Nobody home. Abyss shoots back up to his feet and again to the outside. Maybe he is trying to get this weapon of mass destructive destruction flustered, angry, so that, you know, once the mistake happens, Dennis Gregory can take advantage of it. Dennis Gregory is a master of taking advantage of a situation, as we've seen. Well, as far as psychology and strategy, I'm going to give the advantage to Dennis Gregory without a doubt. But Dennis Gregory's in-ring strategy has not been well thought out. Abyss has been able to outpower him pretty much every turn, and now he's just going to give it up. Win, uh, retain the title on a counter, and Abyss does not want a match to end that way. And what? And can you imagine the sinking feeling in your gut when you turn around and see Abyss running at you, chasing you down? Abyss grabbing Gregory, just hurling him around on the outside. Abyss not going to let Gregory get out of his grasp. Abyss, you know he wants that IWC Heavyweight Champion, former NWA World Heavyweight Champion and World Tag Team Champion. He knows what it's like to wear gold. And if he's wearing gold in IWC, we've seen it before with other individuals. His, uh, his uh, bookings, his spotlight here in this area, it's going to skyrocket. Very true. Very, very true. Of course, to do that, he has to beat Denny Gregory. And I, I can imagine that even though we don't see them right now, various members of the Unholy Alliance have to be around. You have to imagine that Denny Gregory has said, I do not lose this title no matter what. I'm, I'm almost surprised that Stephen Coulter's not levying a fast count out here based on uh, how fast Dennis Gregory tried to leave this championship matchup. But now Gregory has the advantage on the outside of the ring. And all these fans seem to be chanting, Whoa. Is that what they're saying? Yeah, well, apparently. I can't understand what these yokels are saying. What a love of Pete. Is Delirious here cheerleading? No, I can figure out what Delirious is saying, and that's saying something. Oh, well, maybe it's Jimmy Jacobs. Abyss sends Gregory back into the ring. Oh, God, Abyss has some weaponry. This will not end well for the reigning champion. And... You notice Stephen Coulter warning Abyss, but not getting too close to him while he has that chair. Absolutely right. And Abyss propping that chair into the corner, staple of Abyss's offense. Probably going to look to drive Dennis Gregory head first right into it. But Gregory, you don't get to be a four-time champion by accident. He still has quite a bit of fight left in him as well. Get a charge in. Look out. As the, as the grip on him, but Gregory breaks free and Abyss with a hard clothesline. Down one more time. Abyss going to charge in, connects with a corner splash. Abyss has built up momentum. He has Gregory where he wants him. How much, how much are we saying Abyss is weighing here? 350. 350? Come crashing into that, coming crashing into that corner. That disrupts so much of you all at once. It disrupts how you, the way you're viewing the match, what you're thinking, your breathing. Not to mention, it just hurts. Gregory, they thumb to the eye as Abyss was moving in for the kill. Check this out, Abyss went for the chair. Gregory went up and over, low blow, and Gregory head first into the solid steel chair. And Abyss may be signaling for the choke slam. Has him, drills him, 
The Biss, the new heavyweight champion, Count Coulter. Count, damn it. One. He's checking the shoulders. Come on. Coulter, very obviously biased. And that saved Gregory's title and the Unholy Alliance. And Abyss knows it. And speaking of the Unholy Alliance. Oh, no. Look who's running track. Sebastian Dark has just, a belt. Just grabbed Gregory's title belt. There's Albright. There's McChesney. Oh, no. They're out here en masse, minus hentai. It is a four-on-one situation, and even at 6'8", 350, that may be too much. What did I tell you? The Unholy Alliance has never changed its game plan. Once someone has the belt, they hold on to it. And Look they out. ensure that someone holds on to it. Oh, my God. Coulter and Gregory. That would have been poetic justice. Oh, just as good. Gregory sidestepped, Coulter didn't have time to see it coming, Abyss just knocked out the referee. And Coulter definitely deserves it with the way he's been acting, not just tonight, but over the past about a year and a half. He has the belt. Oh, Gregory with the title. Ten pounds of gold. Abyss wanted it. He got it. Right upside the head. We got a cover on Coulter. Coulter going to waste no time counting this. He's got two. It's a slow count here, too. Well, Coulter's been completely dazed, but a miss kicked out. And look at this, four on one in the middle of the ring. Well, well to be fair, it's three on one. Denny's laying oh, over there. That doesn't make it any better. These three men not in the match. Uh, I don't know if Coulter sees it or not, but either way, I doubt it matters. Abyss breaks free of the clothesline. Look Double out. choke slam. Oh! Albright interrupts, but only momentarily. Oh, they go downstairs on Abyss. Double close line. And Abyss has laid waste to all three of Gregory's henchmen. But Gregory's got the title again. Look at Abyss. Click. Doomsday. Abyss signals it. Black hole slam. Belt goes flying. Abyss has the cover. Abyss has the title one. Oh, come on. That was arm. Come doctors, on. Where are the doctors? Oh, shut up, doctors. Where? Get what? someone in the ring to check on them. What a, this, what a cheap, what a cheap screw job. I'm trying to watch my words that the Alliance is perpetrating on Coulter. And Coulter's going to pay for it. Well, if he's hurt, we need another ref. Where's Bobby Wallace? This, this crooked referee. And look at this. Dark in again. Albright, Mick Chesney, and Coulter, in fear of his own life, is going to call this match. Well, he made the right call. You don't put your hands on a referee. Oh, he deserved it. I don't believe this. Well, check this out. Sterling James Keenan limping out. Larry Sweeney coming out. They've had their problems with the Alliance ever since it returned to IWC. And we've got a hell of a fight. Larry Sweeney, Sterling James Keenan, disposing of the entire Unholy Alliance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Stephen Coulter has disqualified a fist. Come on. Directly instrumental to an outcome of a heavyweight championship matchup. You know, look, you don't put your hands on a ref. Beginning and end of story. You look, you know, you, we've talked about the mentality of Abyss and how he's a, he's just a weapon. He's just a weapon. No real mentality to him. No real thought process outside of win the gold. Oh no. Abyss has Coulter and so well, this isn't right. Oh, nothing Coulter does is right. He's a ref. You do not put your hand. You don't do this. In the loosest sense of the word, he's a referee. More like a pest. Is he More wearing like a his stew. zebra stripes? Unfortunately, yes. And look at Coulter. He thinks he got away. Look out. He's got him up. Shock treatment coming up. Drops him. Miss. 
Abyss avenges his heavyweight title loss. It was doomsday for Stephen Coulter. They didn't get to Dennis Gregory. But a member of the Unholy Alliance.